Welcome to Inside EVs, it's Kyle. This episode is going to be everything you need to know about towing with your Tesla Model 3. <laughs> here we go. I'm here in Raleigh, North Carolina with my good friend, Ben. This is his Model 3 Performance. This one is a stealth performance. So it's basically the performance power with the standard brakes and suspension yep. looks pretty good we have 19 inch wheels and we just put a home depot trailer on the back of this thing because we're going to pull things up to the studio and we're all loaded up we got all the stuff here tires chairs toolbox was the main thing air compressor even though our studio has forced compressed air um we're gonna go pick up some wheels because we apparently we don't have enough wheels but let's talk about this setup and how this worked. This is a uh, recent US Model 3. So they have the little cutout panel on the bottom where you can open it up and that's where a hitch would be if you were in Europe. It's not available in the US. So we bought uh, the Eco Hitch from, I think, torquelift.com or something like that. They were really, or eTrailer.com. They were really good about making sure everything was easy to do. And we had to get a wiring harness because there isn't one as well. So we got a universal one that's actually meant for a BMW i3, oddly enough. And that's wired up and it takes the signal from the brake and turn signals. It just got these little sensors that clamp around the wire. It doesn't actually cut into the wire. And it just relays that signal through to the cable to the trailer. And then all of the description of parts and stuff will be in the description. Yeah, we'll link it below. So let's take our sort of half loaded trailer over to discount tire, collect the other Tesla, get the extra set of wheels, the 20 inch performance wheels and tires in the back of this, and then road trip it up to the studio and I am expecting some serious consumption. That's gonna be the second part of this video is how do you actually drive distances with a trailer? And it'll be interesting to see how the car compensates for our charging needs. Um, the supercharger along the way has a trailer pull install, so we'll see that. And we'll talk a little bit about why you should never block the trailer spot for Tesla superchargers. But let's, uh, let's hit the road, this should be good. All right, here we go, the Stealth Performance Model 3 pulling the Home Depot trailer. <laughs> Looking good. I wonder what the consumption will be. We will find out soon. So we're riding with the trailer in the Model 3. How does it feel as the driver? It actually feels pretty normal. Yeah? So we... Uh, it feels like the regen's not as strong because we got all that weight behind us. Right, so we reset a trip uh, called Trailer for this drive. Um, yeah, so this looks good, 77% battery. Let's see what it thinks we'll get to if we go to the Rocky Mount Supercharger, which we're gonna have to zoom out for. Boom. So it predicts a 51% arrival with the trailer. It doesn't really know it's on the car yet. What do you think it'll be? Uh, I think we're going to probably average like five to 700 miles hour. Yeah, so what is oh, that? there you go, hang on, this is 650 right now. Yeah. What do you think we'll get there with? Your your percentage prediction? Uh, I think we go five over. We'll get there with 18%. Okay. My guess is 31%. Huh? Yeah. All right. <laughs> well, so see. we'll find out. Something interesting about Model 3 trailering is when you trailer with Model X, which we've done a little bit of, um, the car goes into trailer mode and doesn't allow autopilot to turn on. But since there's no trailer mode in Model 3, autopilot. we're autopiloting with the trailer. Not recommended, but we did have to test to make sure it worked. It, we're, I mean, we're on city streets, it's doing just fine. <laughs> it's even keeping us centered enough that uh, we're no, well, <laughs> we're not having to worry about, you know, the trailers within the lanes and everything here too. It's doing a good job. Yeah, I would say autopilot with the trailer works. Yeah, we'll try some more on the highway. <laughs> Loading up the last bit of the tires, the wheels. We're ready to rock and roll. There we go. So Ben's coming up next to me. He's gonna do a full throttle in chill mode with the trailer. All right, in three. Oh, there you go. That gets up and goes pretty good. 
and that's at 50% state of charge in chill mode. Okay, so you're in sport now. Yeah, I'm not gonna floor, I'm gonna roll into it just to make sure I don't rip the trailer off. <laughs> you don't wanna rip the trailer off. Oh, wow, that thing rips. Hold on, I'm nailing it in the Crown Vic. <laughs> it looks so fast. We have arrived at the Rocky Mount Supercharger. I was driving the out of spec motoring official police car. Here comes the Tesla with the trailer now. And thankfully the trailer spot is open. Also, there's an old donut mark I did years ago in a Model S 85 here. Don't tell anyone, sorry about that. Um, but here we go and let's go get this thing on the hook over here at the Supercharger. How is the drive? Easy. 10% left. 10% battery. No we need way. 46 kilowatt hours <laughs> to go 66 miles. But to be clear, you didn't slow down with the trailer. You drove five over. Five over, yeah. Right. And what was your watt hour per mile? Uh, 693. <laughs> to, to be clear, this car normally uses about 260 to 280. It's like 310 at, with my drive. Yeah, Ben's driving maybe a little right around 300. I think it may be easier if you come in through the other entrance and then pull into the trailer stall. It, yes. I yeah. Agree. So I think you'll flip around and the trailer stalls are the ones you can pull into, which is why you should always use those last. Always make sure you take the back ends and reserve these for trailering Teslas. Reducing that. Plugged in. We're not sharing cabinets. We're on 3A, 3B is over there. So you get the full cabinet. We were just on this one trailering a Model X a couple weeks ago and got 116 kilowatt. This is an older 120 kilowatt capped charger. It's not one of the version two 150s uncorked chargers. So at 10%, we're gonna need to charge this thing up enough to get to the studio and then back to here. So we're gonna be here for a little while. So here's the trip plan. We are, 43 miles roughly. We're probably just going to stay on the highway and sit in traffic. So we need 86 miles to get from here to the track back to here. Um, we're doing almost 700 watt hour per mile. So that means we need to add a lot of energy. I've into done this the thing. math. We need at least 36 kilowatt hours if we continue. Right. And we're but not that getting, get us back. We're not getting so max we speeds, 60 but close kilowatt enough. hours. Oh, that's just there. That's just so we need direction. like 90% at least. Yeah, so we're going to need a full charge pretty much. Yeah, so let's say we'll unplug at 90 when we get there and then we'll recalculate. But that, yeah. we'll be here for a little while. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a, that's, well, what, I mean, that's 74 kilohertz. It's a full battery pack. Yeah, nearly. <laughs> And not long after we were charged up to 90%, Ben is executing some really nice handy dandy trailer work. The backup camera being so clear really helps with this backing up. He's doing an amazing job. It's all that European truck simulator he's played. So let's get this thing on the road. We have made it up to the studio after all that traffic. Let's see some more professional reversing. Ben, do you find that the backup camera helps you with this? I haven't looked at it yet. Oh, I, all I see is orange. See, I, I assumed that the backup camera was helpful in this process, but I, I think you might actually, you're good so far. A little more angle on this thing, a little more angle. Some stats on our trip. Just did another. Our, that leg was 46 miles. Yeah, but what about uh, the whole thing, the trailer? All right, the whole thing, 111 miles. Yep. 687 watt hours per <laughs> mile, 76 kilowatt hours used. And never once did the fans kick on. No, not even no, after charging. The fans had no problem. Yeah, the Model 3 is so good at managing yeah. heat. It felt like I was using twice the amount of pedal. Yep. as normal but you're using about three times three times the energy because it's <laughs> it's curved right, right. yep I, I mean it tows beautifully autopilot was perfect 
really you don't notice it until you hit one of those expansion joints and then the trailer bounces the rear a little bit but right. other than that like if you Super blindfolded smooth. me put me in the car with no mirrors i may not notice <laughs> well yeah you were you were mentioning that curve it's i think i squared r so the more current that you pull through the resistance increases as a square or, or it's the heat i don't really know truly yeah, there's there's math involved there is math That's involved it's I, but it is i squared r r or i r squared but i'm pretty sure it's i squared r <laughs> Um, so totally now like we got to do the boring stuff of unloading, but, uh, to wrap up the video for our viewers at inside EVs, what, uh, should you know when towing your model three? First off, the eco hitch is awesome. Eco hitch is awesome. It's held up. We did a few full accelerations. I did two more actually <laughs> just to make sure it was on. Uh, the wiring, I don't know about that universal wiring harness cause it worked and then the trailer it worked stopped again. working. It did. Yeah. Was it working? It worked the, the whole trip? second way of the trip. Okay. Well, then maybe it was just the trailer because this yeah. is like the trailer like, got a lot of wiring. And, yeah. yeah. Um, but other than that, it's just a normal towing thing. Your consumption is going to be significantly yeah, higher. I would say 120 miles on a long range battery is about the max. Yeah. You can always check on plug share to a supercharger to see if it has a trailer, trailer pull in. Stall. Otherwise, well, you you'll have no choice. Yeah. You're hitting every supercharger. Yeah. You, you are, are hitting every everyone. <laughs> Um, I would say the thing to think about is the shape of your trailer. Well, I would say that almost matters more than the weight of the yes. trailer. I would yes. think the oh, yeah. aerodynamic drag on this one's really bad. I could feel it. I think if you had like a teardrop camper, it wouldn't be so bad or even like a smaller, lower profile thing. But this, I mean, it's a flat edge. It sticks out beyond the uh, edge of the car and this which looks like it'd be pretty aerodynamic. It caught a ton of paper up against it. Yeah, Ben we had uh, got some extra uh, uh, bonus gifts on the drive up. It was like fishing with a net. <laughs> so, well, yeah. uh, good work to the Model 3. And, uh, it did so an excellent job. It, it did an excellent job because yeah. the plate is excellent. And let's unload this thing and call it a video. So yeah. when you trailer with your Model 3, plan to charge a lot. But other than that, super easy. Yeah. Um, I think everyone will comment, doesn't this avoid your warranty? And the answer is maybe. It should not. It should not. If you break something while doing this, it will. Right. But if you go in because you have a rattle, probably not. Or you've got a... Right. But don't come after us if you trailer and you're have a warranty issue yeah we're not gonna pay for yeah, it yeah we're not gonna pay for it all right have a good one we'll see you guys